Todo is a software tool designed to help individuals or team to manage their tasks and organize their work. In Odoo 17, we have new application which has replaced Node app from Odoo 16 to Todo and let's see how does it work. Let's get into the module Todo. And once you get into this window, you can see the default view of this window is Kanban. We have other views as list and activity. And we have an advanced searching option over the top center of the window. So we can see, we can make filtrations or we can use sorting functionalities under the advanced search, which comes under in a single form. And here we have different stages uh, to give the to-dos. And if you want to add a stage, it is possible to add a stage by clicking on personal stage. So this would allow you to add more stage. Now let's see how to create a to-do. In order to create a to-do, you can just click on new and here we can create a to-do. Let me give the name of the to-do as send invitation. And let me click on add so that the to-do is added. And if you want to add a new to-do, it is possible to add. And yeah, uh, let me click on show activities as this will allow you to schedule the activity for the to-do that you have created. We have different activity types, so you can choose the activity type that you want. And here you can also set the summary. Here you can also uh, give the uh, note. So Odoo 16 versus Odoo 17 will be the discussion and you can just open the calendar and can set uh, the date and all. Here you can set the date. If you want to connect with your calendar, like with the Google or Outlook, you can do that by synchronizing a calendar with Google Calendar. So that you need to give the client ID and uh, client uh, secret. So when you click on connect, you can connect this. Okay. Now we have uh, given 27 as a date. And at any time you can make call. Okay. And... After that, if you want to share the availability, you can just click on share availability and you can get the link and share this. So currently you can see we have set uh, the time as uh, three um, at all. Now let's back to the to-dos that we have created. And as we have set uh, the call as the schedule meeting, you can see that icon over here. When you click on the three, Dots. You can also set the priority uh, by color highlights uh, in the to-do. And when you get into the uh, to-do, here we can add different tags for filtration purposes. This would let you to add multiple tags and you can also add multiple assignees. So the assignees that are currently available would be listed here. And this shows uh, the, yeah, the stages of to-do. And here you can give more information uh, regarding to do, uh, which means how to manage your work and task and all. After that, if it's um, uh, yeah, if it's done, uh, this to do is completed. You can just enable mark as done, and let me save this first. And I need to create a task uh, from this to do. So in order to create that task, you can just click on this icon, and you can click on convert to task. So Odoo 17 would let you to create a new project and task. So let me uh, give the project name as invitation. So let me create a new uh, project. And when you click on convert to task, a task will be automatically created here. Okay. So here you can see uh, the uh, task uh, name is sent invitation and the project name is invitation. So uh, the um, yeah the additional note that we have given under the to do will be uh, configured under the description of the 
tau now you can also allocate time for uh, the employees that work in this task so let me set the allocated time as 40 hours okay and here you can also set the deadline in order to complete the task and let me set it as uh, 19 and uh, you can also plan the date so let me uh, choose uh, the plan dates as uh, yeah from today's date and you can also set an end date and click on this tick mark to apply that date in this field and yeah we can also uh, record the times of the employees who all have worked in this task so under this timesheet you can mark that so in order to uh, set the uh, time you can just click on start button so this would allow you to record the time of each employee who all, who all has worked in this so here you can see we have uh, got a pop-up message like magdamo is uh, is on time off from these dates and michelle admin also has requested for time off which which means that magdamo and michelle admin won't be available in these dates that we have given as well as michelle admin has 13 tasks at the same time and uh, magdamo also has four other tasks and joel wills has six tasks at the same time as well as john dio which means that uh, magdamo and uh, michelle admin will be on leave in these dates as well as if they are not in their leave, uh, they have certain tasks to uh, to complete in these uh, time planned, I mean the planned dates. So you can choose the other employees to work in this task. So let me choose uh, uh, Anita Oliver. So Anita Oliver has worked for 10 hour. And what happens if uh, we have selected the Michelle admin or other employee? So let's see the change. So let me set Michelle admin as uh, 10 hour. So you can see it will be recorded here. And let me choose, uh, uh, yeah, mark demo. For 20, 20 hours. So sometimes this would uh, would be also indicated in red color. So uh, if this hours is indicated in red color, that means we can understand that they will be on their time off. So in such cases, you can just change the employee. So currently we know that uh, Mark Demo and Michelle Edmund will be on their time off and uh, the employees that specified here have uh, some other task. So let me change the employee's name to yeah Doris and Ellie Lampart okay now you can save this now if you want to add subtask you can also add subtask so in order to add the subtask you can just click on add a line so this would let you to create subtask so here you can give the name as office invitation and if you want to set it into favorite or you want to set the priority you can set that and you would be able to see uh, the task so when you click on yeah, let me save this first and you can just click on view task so this would allow you to view the task so here you can see uh, the task and when you go to the parent task this would let you to see the parent task okay now we can uh, have extra informations uh, tab and under this we can set the parent task so let me choose the parent task over here you can search uh, from this list and choose the parent task so let me choose the parent task as sent invitation and you can choose the parent task so uh, you can also set the email cc and cover image and all okay so let me stop the uh, hover and let me change it as 40 and save the time okay now you can see as we have added one subtask that will be shown here and if you have added any documents you can see all documents uh, under this document tab and we have a gear icon over here so when you click on this gear icon you can uh, yeah print the timesheet if you want to print that 
so let me click on uh, the timesheet this would allow you to print the timesheet and you can view that timesheet so here you can see the time uh, that spent by each of the employee uh, so totally uh, it is 40 hours because we have changed uh, the hours and we have added uh, different employees uh, who have yeah uh, started uh, their work and you can see that now if you want to um, get the report of field service you can get that so when you click on field service report you will get a pdf report over here so that shows all the details of the employees who has associated with the field service so you can just uh, open this so this would give a report of the company as well as the workers uh, details uh, uh, everything will be shown here as well as a timesheet as well as uh, the field service report also now let's back to the Odoo platform and you can also um, yeah if you want to duplicate this you can uh, duplicate uh, this one so when you click on duplicate uh, you would be able to get a, a copy of this so this uh, shows if you have duplicated this uh, task you can see copy uh, will be indicated by odo and you can also archive this if you want to archive which means if you want to hide this you can uh, hide that so this won't be available right now now uh, if you want to delete this uh, you can delete that and you can also add uh, some other property so if you want to add any uh, fields in this window of uh, the task you can add that so if you want to get the mobile number and all you can add the field so uh, or uh, any other field you can set the name as well as type for that so let me choose number I mean integer as the uh, type and here you can see the default value so here you can see we have added a field and you can enter all other details now you can save all other th changes and if you want to share this you can share that so this would allow you to copy the link and paste to any of the uh, platforms uh, social platform uh, in order to share this or you can also um, add the recipients so while you are adding the recipients make sure that you have uh, just uh, configured the outgoing mail server so this would let you to send the mail so let me provide the mail over here and you can just save and close this so we have uh, given a mail for this and uh, you need to ensure that you have properly set the mail so once you click on send the recipient will be receiving a mail now you can also send sms text messages so if you want to send sms text message you can send that and let me give the text message as hey you there and you can send this uh, nav or you can just put that in queue so let me click on send nav so uh, the uh, I mean the number that we have given here will be receiving the mail uh, I mean uh, the message and you can also convert this into a ticket which means you can convert this task into a ticket so you, that this will be converting to a ticket so here you can uh, choose a team and you can also set the stage so let me convert that into a ticket and you can just click on convert so that this will be converting to ticket so here you can see uh, that currently this has converted to ticket under the team customer care and you can also set the priority assignees and all so let me choose michelle admin as the assignee and you can also choose the type uh, that can be a question or issue so let me choose it as a question and let me save this now let's back to uh, the task that we have created and if you want to send the report you can send that so here there are no reports so first you need to uh, set all other details and that would allow you to create the report so let me go to the parent task and let's click on send report so currently we have sent the report 
i mean uh, sending the report so here you can add the follower so this would uh, i mean recipient so this would let you to send the report okay so this is pretty cool to organize your task and as work using odoo 16 to do that's all about the new feature of to do app in odoo 17